Welcome to Challenge Thursday on Alex Elliott Golf. Today I'm talking to you and challenging you to stop making stupid mistakes. I'm going to talk you through my top six stupid mistakes all golfers make out on the golf course and then talk you through a solution to how you can combat making those mistakes. We all know making stupid mistakes costs us one or two shots per round and over the year that could be a lot of a reduction on your handicap. So let's get straight to today's video and the first most stupid mistake. Now, before that, if you are a brand new viewer, don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well as comment down below what is the most stupid mistake you always make when you play golf. We always seem to have one or two that we kind of repetitively do, so I want to know exactly what they are, so comment down below. Common mistake number one, taking too much risk when we're going through the trees. Now, I've got a simple option here to do is chip out the side or I can actually try and hit a low raking hook around the tree. So number one, I always think about the situation in your head. If I can't pull a shot off eight times out of 10, that it's not worth me doing. Now, for the sake of today's video, I'm gonna try and hit that low hook around the tree and see if I can get it out there. Ball back in the stance. Too much risk here for me, but for the sake of this video, let's crack on. Now that was a higher risk shot, I've got away with it, but ask yourself the question, tip number one, eight out of 10 times, can I pull the shot off? So now we're going on to the second most stupid mistake we all make, and I'm guilty of this. So let's head straight to that now. Middle of fairway, we've hit a good tee shot. What happens now? It's something I do all the time. Get the wrong yardage. Could hit a nice shot, I've got the wrong yardage, means I've got the wrong club, means my next shot ends up in trouble. So my rule for you is, on stupid mistake number two, is make sure you the correct yardage. Now, my, my rule to do this is I would always, in this scenario here, I've got the foreground of the trees, I would laser the trees, get a yardage for the trees, and then I would laser the flag. So I know then if I've actually got the flag or I've lasered the trees, because we all know hitting a good shot and not getting rewarded for it, there is nothing more frustrating. So we talked about the first two mistakes and the biggest mistakes and the stupid mistakes we make. Remember, at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk you through how you can combat making them and this is a foolproof routine you can all apply so simple and it can save you plenty of shots this year okay so i've lasered the trees i've lasered the flag it's now time to hit a shot and hopefully end up next to that flag it is a cold one this morning very windy into the wind it's a little punchy one here Oh, I can do that much better than that. Go! Not a bad shot. Right, we'll go up to the green and we're talking about the third most stupid mistake we all make. So this is something I keep asking you all in all the videos recently. You keep seeing that I've got data from my little flight scope Mevo. We're getting smash, we're getting distance, getting club head speed, and we're getting carry. Now, are you enjoying this side of the data? And if you are, comment down below. Now, we've gone through the two most stupid mistakes. How many of those are you currently making in your game? I think a lot of you that are watching this potentially definitely do the first one and possibly do the second. Right, I'm heading up to the side of the green to talk through the third most stupid mistake we all make. Come on guys, I'm gonna combat this for you at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. Also, if I have missed any stupid mistakes because you are part of this channel and I create the content for you, I want you to comment down below what you think is the most stupid mistake that you make out on the golf course. Remember, this is all for you. Right, third mistake, I am guilty of this. Now we're moving on to the next most stupid mistake, number three on our list. This is taking on too much risk, but in a different way. Showing off to your friends, playing high flop shots in this scenario where we've not got a lot of green between the fringe and the flag, is something where I feel we all get a little bit unstuck. I'm guilty of this. I get this scenario here and I think, right, Phil Mickelson time, lay the blade open, high flop shot, 
hope for the best. Where really, 10 foot pass with a normal standard chip shot is actually a very good shot. So my third mistake is, you guys that show off to your friends, play high tariff shots, and take on too much risk around the greens. Turning a bogey into a double bogey. Right, well I'm gonna take on this shot and prove to you that it's too much of a high risk. Now we may be good at a flop shot, but how many times could we play that shot and end up in a good situation out of 10? Well, I've ended up on the green, but that's certainly not a good shot. Now, if I was actually playing a chip shot, I probably would end up in a better position. Right, on to number four on our list. Number four on our list. Now, I'm gonna say something to you. Every shot is worth the same, no matter if you're hitting a drive 350 yards, hitting a seven iron 150 yards, or hitting a tapping of this length. Taking our time on every single shot is valuable. This leads me nicely as I walk onto the green here at the 13th at Stockport, the fourth biggest mistake we all make. Missing those stupid short puts. Remember, every shot costs exactly the same, so why would we not take as much time on a little tap-in as we would a 300 yard drive or a 10 foot putt? This is my key for this one. Make sure you take your time on every single shot. Realize everything is worth exactly the same. Missing those stupid two foot tap-ins when we're not concentrating and we think we've already put that score down on the card can really ruin us. And for me, it could really ruin the rest of the round. Let's head on to number five of the stupid mistakes. For me, this is one of the big ones, but the sixth one is one that we need to really start do stop doing. This is the most stupid mistake number five. Hitting a shot when we're not comfortable, but hitting the wrong club when we know it's the wrong club. And this can really cost us shots out on the golf course. I often hear it is where people stand over the shot, they shuffle more, they keep shuffling, they hit it, they tell their playing partners, oh, I wasn't comfortable with that one. Well, if you're not comfortable, why would we hit the shot? I think a lot of people sometimes feel pressured to hit the shot in a certain amount of time because they don't want to hold people up. My rule for you here is, is make sure you always feel comfortable and make sure when we stood over the shot, we try and spend no more than four seconds over the golf ball. We can have our shuffle and our waggles off the golf ball, but as soon as we're on the shot, let's hit it away. Number five on our list, is making sure you're comfortable or not hitting a shot when you're not comfortable. Whew. Right, now for the final big one for me. This is something that we need to stop doing. And remember at the end of the video, we're gonna to talk to you about a simple way you can combat making stupid mistakes out on the golf course. Number six on our list. I want to take you right back to the first tee and the first hole of your round last weekend. And if you started badly, did you let that ruin the rest of your round? If you think about it in this way, if you started with a six or started with a double or triple bogey and you let that ruin the next 17 holes, it sounds crazy, doesn't it? It's stupid. We shouldn't let one hole ruin our round. So what I want you to do here is, and my rule for this is, and this is not really a tip, and this is the stupid mistake that I think we all make, we let one shot, one hole ruin our round. And we've really got to stop doing it. It's, it's, I'm saying it like that because, and I'm laughing because I've done it. I know you're probably watching this and you've done it as well. And I think we've got to stop doing that. Okay, enough of me talking about the six most stupid mistakes. We know what they are now. How can we actually combat doing that? And what's a way we can get in our own bubble and stop getting in our own way making these stupid mistakes? Again, we're going to talk through using a card. So next time you play, get two golf cards again. Now, this is something that we've done in the past, and I really like this and writing stuff down because I think if you write stuff down, we actually own what we're about to do. So I'm going to talk you through how this 
can help you stop making those stupid mistakes. So this is what I'm challenging you to do. Two cards next time you play, one for your score, one for your behaviors or your stupid mistakes. So what I want you to do here is, we're gonna have the card, tick if you don't make a stupid mistake and a cross for every time you do make a stupid mistake. Hopefully the tick starts out where the cross is and hopefully we don't actually have any crosses on the golf cart and hopefully we don't actually have any crosses on our card because then we know we've actually stopped making those stupid mistakes and we can start to make good scores out on the golf course having no regrets and like I said before having the ownership writing it down really makes you responsible for what you're doing out on the golf course my foolproof technique to stop making these stupid mistakes out on the golf course